What will win in a drag race between a Toyota Supra and a BMW M440i? They're both coupes, although that has four-wheel drive and this is rear-wheel drive, and they're both BMWs, and they've both got the BMW B58 engine. We're gonna drag race them, see what happens. I've got slightly less performance in that car, so in this, the B58 produces 340 horsepower. In that, 374 horsepower. They both have the same 500 newton meters of torque. They've both got an eight-speed automatic gearbox. This is rear-wheel drive though. Like I said, that's four-wheel drive. They've both got launch controls of varying degree of success with them. <laughs> BMW launch control after all. As for weight, quite a big difference. This is just under 1,500 kilos. That is 1,740 kilos. Price-wise though, fairly evenly matched. 53,000 pounds for one of these, 55 for one of those. Hmm, what's gonna happen? We're gonna find out. Before we do, please make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you will not miss a single upload. Let's race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we race, we're gonna do the standard car wow sound test. So I'm gonna rev this up. Oh yeah, three litre straight six. Turbocharged. No soft limiters here, thank you very much. Well done Toyota. Okay, let's hear the BMW. Surprise, surprise. Sounds quite similar. But from the outside, which do you think sounds the best? The exhaust system is probably a little bit different, maybe? Tuned slightly differently? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, let's let's actually race. Now, let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Three, two, one. That's the way it does it. it didn't even give me full power. So it did its launch control properly, the way it blends it in, but it just didn't give full power at all. It was utterly diabolical. I'm just gonna hold it on the brake ever so slightly and with traction control on and just see if that helps. Yeah, that's probably the easier way to do it. Do you know what you could have done, Toyota? You could have done a bit of development on the launch control on this to make it better than BMWs. You could have done that, but you didn't. Wish you had, but you haven't. I blame both of you, BMW and Toyota together. Bad people. No, you're not bad, but just, more budget to that area, thanks. Three, two, one. A bit of slip. Well, I'm getting full power now. Definitely getting full power. I'm getting thrashed at the same time. I lost. I did, I lost. Did you launch or did you brake boost? No, that time it launched, it did it really well actually. Yeah, this was average. Three, two, one. Oh, it's close this time. Come on, Supra. Come on. Come on. Oh. My best go yet though. I'll make do with that, that'll do for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat you, I'm not gonna beat you. You got four wheel drive and more power, so you won. Yeah, it's, it's not a competition really, is it? It's just launches quicker and it's got more power. It's not a battle you can win, I don't think. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the BMW did the standing quarter mile in 12.1 seconds, while the Toyota took 12.5 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Three, two, one, go. Fucking damn better. I can't believe it. I thought I'd win this. Not even pulling it back. Yeah, another win for the BMW. Maybe heavier, but it's got more horsepower. And that's the result. Let me try something else. All right, now we can have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, cars in sports setting, and manual mode for the gearbox. Gonna do it in third gear, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Supra. Come on, Supra, you might win this one. 
<laughs> Come on, I'm just edging ahead. I'm just edging ahead. Making now, I'm out of here. Who won that? Did I just get ahead of you? What do you reckon? You'd have to see a camera on it. It looked dead even. That was as close as close it gets. Maybe you were a fraction ahead, but I could, it's hard to tell from your own position. From my own position, I'm going to say I was just ahead. I, I want I want to win something, just something. Come on, rear wheel drive, less power loss. It's lighter. It's got to win that. I'm giving it to this. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments below what won the rolling race. Got a pin comment? You're going to have to vote to let us know. All right, last challenge. Now we go for a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop. Car oh, that stops in the shortest distance wins the challenge. I'll put this. What? Line's. Wait. There. <laughs> Here's the line. Come on, sweet bro, win this. No, no. You won that, definitely. Not by a massive amount, but definitely won now. Wow, 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 wow. Oh well, poor Supra. Maybe won one rolling race. We'll have to see in the vote. Below the pin comment. Other than that. Hmm. And if you're not doing so already, please follow me on Instagram. I'm at Watson Cars. I do loads of behind the scenes stuff, which gives you an idea of the upcoming drag races, which are supposed to be kept secret. I'm a bit of a blabbermouth on Instagram. Anyway, thanks for watching.